Hello and welcome to my video. I'm super excited to make an unboxing video for my new Glowforge Pro. This is the box it comes in. It is huge. You will want two people to move it. It's not insanely heavy. It's about 75 pounds, but it is really, really big. So if you're just moving it on ground floor. Maybe you can do it yourself, but I had to move it up a flight of stairs, so I called my brother to help me out. And so here it is. Here's the box. It has these little plastic handles in here that you just pop out before you can open it. And then you cut the tape, and it just opens right up. And I've actually already had to pull the Glowforge out because I figured while my brother was here, I might as well have him help me move it over to the desk. And so it's sitting right over there. But I will show you guys the packaging and everything. It's packaged really well, really safe. And I still have the other box of all the other supplies and everything to pull out too. I haven't turned it on. It's still taped up exactly how it would come out of the box. So inside the box, it is surrounded by foam. It is not going anywhere and nothing should happen to it unless it were maybe dropped really hard. So it was just sitting in there inside the bag, surrounded by all this foam. Now over here I have this box, which is the, well, let's see. So this is the crumb tray, the four inch exhaust dryer hose, and underneath here, is the power cord and my stack of proof grade material that is included with the machine. And I believe that is everything. So they say you're supposed to be able to go from the time you get the box in the mail to having your first finished product in hand. You're supposed to be able to do that in less than 30 minutes. So I figured I'd put that to the test. I lost my tripod holder for my camera. So I'm just going to basically show you a shot of my watch. It is 12.05, basically. And then I will just plug it in, hook it up to my window, and get it set up, and then I will bring you guys back in. Sorry, I forgot to show you guys how actually the inside of it's packed so that nothing moves in there and nothing gets damaged. They really securely package this unit. So there's orange tape everywhere on it, it looks like. You pull that off, you open this up, and it is packed with even more foam and silica gel and just different parts to untape and remove. And then it looks like, I don't, I did not see a instruction manual or anything anywhere. So it looks like once I get everything plugged in and untaped, all I'm going to have to do, I think, is just go to setup.glowforge.com, and we'll see how that works. Actually, I should probably go there first, just to make sure I'm taking all this tape off and everything right. So here it goes, turning it on for the first time. Got everything hooked up now. Right now, I just have the hose going straight to the window, but I need to do a better setup out there. So now it's powering on. Looks like it's purging a bunch of air bubbles from the cooling system. And getting ready to have me do my first cuts. So now I've got it all set up with my computer. It's now connected to my Wi-Fi network. And I've put a piece of medium proof grade draft board in there for the first cut that they give you for free. So over here is the software, and this is the design we're going to be cutting once the 
head centers and it gets all calibrated. It takes a little while because I think it had a lot of those air bubbles to purge and so the first time getting it connected and everything takes a little longer. Uh, right now on time, we're at 12.28. So just over 20 minutes from when I open the box basically, I am getting ready to set up my first cut. Once it shows me the picture, I can get started. Now it says it's scanning the bed. And there you see that it scanned the bed. It sees the little QR code. And now I'm supposed to put this where I want to cut it. And up here you can see I'm using the medium draft board and it notices that that from the QR code down in the corner. So I choose the place I want to place it. And let's just put it down here in the corner so that I have a lot more usable space on this board. And I think that's all I have to do to get ready to print, I believe. You have no artwork in the print area. To print, make sure the artwork you want to print is in the print area. Oh, I guess the hazy side parts are not the print area. So see how it's a little hazier here? That's outside of the print area. So I have to go just next to the hazy area. Then it sees it as printable. Now it says up there in the top corner, ready to print. And so I just click print. And it says your first print, congratulations. Some things to remember. And you can read the rest. And I agree, I understand. And it says preparing to print, loading your design, and so it sends it over. My machine's making noises right now. The computer says preparing your print, auto-focusing on your material. And it does it all over Wi-Fi, so sometimes it can take a little bit of time, supposedly. Just kind of depending on your network speed and probably the size of your file also. Auto-focusing, calculating. And there it goes. It says, once I push that button, the print will be done in 4 minutes and 57 seconds, which actually puts me exactly at 30 minutes from the time I started, basically. Maybe 31. But still pretty good. And so you come over here and you push the button. And it's firing up, you hear the fans kick in, and getting ready to go. So that's all done. Back on the computer, it says almost done. Just uh, keep the lid closed until it's all done ventilating it. And it says print done. Let's see how it did. Looks like it did pretty good. It just falls right out. So look at that. So this is their proof grade material, so it comes coated in uh, masking tape, basically. And so, once we remove that masking tape, you'll get rid of all those burns that you're seeing there. And since I don't have my tripod working right now, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back once I have the tape taken off. So there you go, there's the finished product out of the proof grade draft board. It's a little scraped up in the middle of that charred area because I was kind of scratching at it. Um, but it came out really pretty good looking. Lines are sharp. Some of, the, some of the lines around the edge are not... You can see there's little breaks in the line. 
So I'm a little surprised that the lines are not more consistent since this is their proof grade material. But all in all, I think it looks really, really good and nice and easy. It's just put the design on there and hit print. And the edges of it come out with a nice kind of a charred look to it, but I kind of like the black that it leaves on there. And that's kind of unavoidable when you're cutting stuff with a laser. But the numbers are all sharp. All the lines on the ruler part look really good. And I am excited to start messing around with this thing. Do some of my own designs and maybe try some others that they provide. They do pr provide multiple free designs and they also have a whole shop with a bunch of things that they have designed that you can pay to print out and make yourself. You can either pay for like a one-time license or you can pay to make it multiple times. Not for resale, but for gifts for friends and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool. They've got some nice designs on there. Um, I bought this Pro using a promo code from someone that I watched on YouTube that made a video. And I also will provide a promo code in my description below that if you're considering getting a Glowforge, please consider using my code. It helps you out a lot. If you get a Pro, it gives you $500 off. If you get a Basic, I believe it's $300 off. And if you get a... Or no, if you get a Plus, I believe it's $300 off. And a Basic, you get about $150 off, I believe. And then I get some credit back in exchange too so it helps both of us out and i would really appreciate it uh, but thanks for watching the video today and i plan on making some other videos uh, probably with some tips and tricks that i come up with while i'm messing around with this thing because i have a lot of plans to do with this but thanks for watching the video today